Hi, I'm gonna entertain you guys today. This is gonna be, oh my God, what is she doing? All right, I hope you remember the movie Nomadland and one of the major stars was Swanky and Swanky was the woman that lived in the van. She had a trailer and her goal was to travel all 50 states, which she really did, and to a kayak in all 50 states. And I'm so proud of her. Well, she did it and you know what? She's ready to move on. So uh, she's ready to sell her beautiful 2006 extended body Chevrolet van. Now then, I've taken a bunch of pictures of it. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna give you contact information. Don't laugh, I've never sold a van. It's just me and Swanky going over things in the van. Uh, the van is for sale for $20,000, but it is move in ready and it is a beautiful van. She put a lot of work into it. And uh, all right, I'm gonna roll the clip. Please don't laugh too much, but uh, we had a great time filming it. But I wanted you guys to see the vehicle. It really is a beautiful vehicle. And it is world famous too. Remember this scene when Fern came knocking on Swanky's door and the pirate flag was up? Oh, Swanky wasn't too happy with that. Right it's a Dometic freezer. And it's the, the shipping box that came in, I added an inch of foam. Oh, wow. And wrapped it with Reflectix. It's at minus five degrees Fahrenheit right now. Oh my gosh. Look how much wood would hold. Oh my gosh. And that's a 35 quart freezer. That is wonderful. And I got it so I could keep ingredients for green smoothies. And then I remembered ice cream. <laughs> love it. I love ice cream. <laughs> All right. Can't, and can't this. Can't anybody what's in there. <laughs> she uses as a refrigerator. It's top secret, Charlene. Right now it's just drinks because I've already removed all my food. And there's the battery inverter. Wow. 3,000 3, watt. $580. If you bought the, if you piece this out by yourself, you'd be spending a lot more money. Yeah. Then what works? And true. What's the best thing to get? And this has all been tried and true. This has all been set up, yeah. Hey. Remote control, fantastic vent fan. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. You push the button and it opens. Then you can change the speed from 100% down to 10%. Or you can set it to operate on temperature. Like if you have an animal in here, uh -huh. and you want to keep it at like 75% on the temperature, then you can set it at that and it'll kick the fan kick on to keep the temperature controlled for an animal. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah. Reverse it, and it also has a rain sensor. If you're away from your van and it rains or starts raining in the middle of the night, it'll just close. I love it's that. Really, so it's a really great thing. It's a little extra than a manual fan, but it's worth having so many variables. Absolutely. And I want to back up and show them how much space is in this. This is spacious, spacious, spacious. The bed's already built. Look at that. And Swanky's almost 5'8". And that curtain comes all the way across the, for privacy. The curtain comes across for privacy. And it helps hold the heat in too if you're cold at night. Sweet, and you have a microwave in here. I, lo I love your setup, Swanky. Hold that box. It's made of three quarter inch plywood covered heavy carpet. And the lids come up. And so you can store lots of storage lots in, of there. Stuff in there. And the mattress, the bed mattress is actually there's two mattresses. There's a lower one here okay. because it's between the boxes, and then there's the topper, which is memory foam. Oh, very and nice. The mattress is in. It's, it's always been covered, so they're clean. So one of the things I hate when I'm sleeping and it's stuffy in my van. Tell us about your little invention, Charlene. Well, I have I have a bumper board here. Uh huh. Old mattress in place. And I have a cargo net that holds the pillows in place. Oh, and at wonderful. night if I want to watch the stars. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I just hang my head out the window and watch the stars. Oh my gosh. And I can watch the sunrise and the sunset from my bed. And normally I have this rope tied to the door. Uh-huh. 
So if it gets cold at night, I can just pull the door shut oh. without getting out of bed. That's wonderful. And, uh, and so I have just a, a net for bugs. Although we don't have any bugs out here. No, we don't. In Thank Arizona. God. And the curtains are heavy. Yes, they're very, very heavy. And then there's no draft in here. There's no draft in here at all. And uh, I just love this setup. That's what I don't like about my new setup. I can't sleep with my head by the window. Oh, I love this setup. Although I'm going to work on figuring out a way to, way to do that. But this, and it was already soundproofing. Soundproofed panel. And this stuff is heavy. The glue on that behind that carpet is like steel. Yes. And, uh, Wait a minute. Get in here under my bed one night. Oh my gosh. I was, I got one, went to go to bed and I heard him under there. Oh. And I came and looked at the flashlight and had six eyeballs. Oh bed. my gosh. So I built this, it's just lattice work sprayed black with some netting tape on, uh, glued onto it. And when that door is shut, then we can't just walk in. Right, the raccoons. A mouse could still crawl in, but that doesn't happen very often. And, uh, oh, that is neat. And you have a shoe rack over here. All kinds of miscellaneous stuff. And your roof rack, that's, is that where you kept your kayaks? I did, originally for 10 years. Oh, wow. Until so my shoulder wouldn't allow me to do it anymore. So you can put a lot of stuff up there. Yeah, you can put another panel up there, or there's even about two feet of space at this end. If you put another big panel up, you could put other stuff across there. Or I had a TV antenna up there. Um, lots of different purposes, I guess. Cool. You could put one of those carriers that you put things in, you put one of those up there. Toolies. Thank you, Charlene. Swanky. All right, here is her contact information. You too can own a piece of Hollywood history. And believe it or not, Nomad Land won three Academy Awards. All right, here's all the important information. If you are in Quartzsite, you can contact Swanky and she will show you the vehicle herself. The reason why she is selling it is she is almost 80 and she needs something a little more swankier. All right, we will see you down the road.